Hi! Last year I played with the laser cube and was impressed by how they crammed scanners, batteries, optics and one watt of laser power in such a small case. But there has been no rest for wicked lasers for the last year. Now they say there's two watts of laser power in their latest version. Really? The same power as in this massive two watt laser dock? I need to see this on a laser power meter to believe it. I will also open them up to see the inner workings of this wizardry. Show lasers are meant to be seen, but make sure that no one ever will be able to look directly into the beam or specular reflections of it. Use laser safety goggles when burning and popping with a steady beam. And don't open devices with a high voltage power supply unless you know what you're doing. Full disclosure first, the show lasers are donated by Wiki Lasers, and this video is sponsored by World of Warships a free online game filled with passion and strategy that I will tell you more about later. The new version appears much bigger, but the difference is only 1.3 cm heatsink and a small fan at the bottom. The actual laser enclosure is the same tiny 10 cm cube. The weight has increased by a quarter of a kilogram, so it still has this solid cold heavy metal feeling. I am not a big fan of small fans though. To move enough air, they have to spin fast, making an intrusive high-pitched whine. But there's no room for a large diameter fan on such a small device. Unlike on the laser dock, look at the size of the heatsink and industrial fans used for cooling the 2 watt laser dock. No wonder the little fan screams if it has to cool laser diodes of the same power level. For the intended use with music playing from DJs or musicians, the fan's noise will not be heard. But if you want to enjoy a laser show in your home quietly, the 1 watt version is much easier to be around. Let me show you the difference on a high quality sound recording with a fixed uncompressed recording level. Around 60 decibels this close to the fan is not loud at all. It is just 60 decibels of more whining than the 1 watt version. With that said, it does send a message of the real power hiding in this cube to the unknowing. But what is the real power of it? Let's start with a simple test. A race to burn through a CD case the fastest. Here I have set them side by side for a direct comparison. 3, 2, 1, go! Ok, the new version easily made it through in the time the program allows a steady beam at full power. The one water was very close to making it through. I will give it a second chance with less beam angle. Notice how the beam is almost visible from the stronger version, even on the strong studio light. The one water was so close to getting through again. I can't remember when it charged the batteries in it last. Maybe it will help running it on the power supply. If not enough, I will give it a second shot on the same spot to see how long time it takes for it to make it through. Ah, it went through just as I lit it up again. Let me remind you that these lasers only emit visible light. Visible light went through this CD case. Amazing when you think about it. While this was more of an intensity test than a true power test, the result does seem to indicate that the new version is around twice as powerful. The extra power is also visible in projections. Here, the brighter 2 water overexposes the camera. Let me lower the exposure. The extra power is not really needed for home use, but it is a matter of more than just raw power. The color balance is much better in the stronger version. White is truly white from it. The 3 to 4 times stronger red and green laser diodes are simply a better match for the high powered blue diode. You can color balance the 1 water to perfect white, but only by dialing down the blue laser diode a lot. The 2 water will be at least 3 times stronger with equal white balance and that's noticeable. Alright, 
So far, all tests have indicated that the new laser cube is significantly stronger. Let's use a laser power meter to find out if it really is twice as strong as the one water. As usual, I have the issue that show lasers are not like laser pointers. The LPM works based on heating and needs some time to make an accurate reading. But I can't just fire up the laser cube with a steady beam at full power for an extended time. Especially after they removed the pop and burn options from laser OS. There is however a semi-secret way to get pop and burn back and in my old beta install of the laser OS, the pop program will still give me a 6 second steady beam at full power. Are you ready? Here we go! Wow! It was still climbing fast when the laser cube switched off after 6 seconds. But it reached 1812 milliwatts with the LPM calibrated for 450 nanometers. The wavelength I used last to test one of my patron's lasers in a patron exclusive video and the wavelength close to the strongest diode in the laser cube. This is a great result. The laser diodes have to be above 2 watts for the laser cube to emit around 1970 milliwatts. After the internal losses in the optics, I will show later when I open the show lasers. But is 450 nanometers the right choice on the LPM? I believe I can make a more precise measurement by calibrating for the weighted average of the wavelengths from the three diodes. Not a big change, but I think this is more precise. For the fun of it, I will also test at the symbol average for the wavelengths. The LPM has spoken. No matter the calibration, this truly is a 2 watt laser cube. That's crazy in this tiny form factor. Time for some fun with what the POP program was meant for, popping balloons. First, a simple test on one balloon to see if the shortest beam duration in the program is enough to pop it. Of course it is. It is a 2 watt laser. I have to admit it is fun playing with this as a laser cannon. It is a blast. If you want to have a blast with some cannons more safely, I can recommend the sponsor for this video. World of Warships is an online free to play game that will make you captain of your own ship. Living in Denmark with its Viking history and where you are never more than 52 kilometers from a sea, I have always been drawn by the sea and the big ships sailing it. And the sea atmosphere and models of iconic warships in the game have impressed me with their accuracy. The developers typically spend 6 months on researching, modeling and implementing a new ship. This level of passion for naval history shows when you play it and I'm surprised by the details and overall premium quality in a free game. I also like that it is a thinking man's action game. You need to use your brain to figure out the right strategy for each ship. You should try it yourself. Use the link and code in the description box below to get a good start as a new captain. Before I open the 2W laser cube, we should have a look inside the 2W laser dock. Just to see how much is needed for a 2W laser show. Not counting the heat sinks, the laser dock is 4 times larger than the laser cube. Will it be mostly empty air inside? Looks stuffed to me. Let's have a closer look at the parts.
As mentioned earlier, here's a look at how much laser light is lost inside the show laser. Mostly due to dichroic mirrors not being 100% efficient at reflecting and passing different colors. Even the scanner mirrors account for some loss. 2000 plus milliwatts is not easy to tame. Do not use a show laser with an open enclosure. Scattered laser beams are everywhere. Now for the laser cube. I have more details in an earlier video where I opened the one water. This time I will mostly focus on the differences in the two water. Alright, for more laser show action, you should watch my other videos on the laser cube and laser docks. I even test one of them near a big magnet. Links in all the usual places. And most important of all. Thanks to all my wonderful patrons. You helped me out with the laser power meter and I have ordered some more measurement devices with your funding. I will unbox them in a Patreon video. If you have a dollar to spare too, check out my Patreon page, link in the description below. Or click like and subscribe, it all helps me keep going. Thank you for watching, bye for now.